everyone, welcome back to um, Good Morning South Group. Good back to the beginning of this morning show. And of course, yes, do we have Julian out there, uh, out in Calder Hall, Juve, just taking in the celebrations and giving us those updates, those wonderful updates of what's been happening on the outside. Now, on the inside with me and online with me, we have been joined by ACB Callis Hazel. So, a special good morning and welcome to you, Officer Hazel, ACB Hazel. How are you doing this morning? I'm fine, thank you, Candice. All right, so what can you tell us about the weekend so far? Has there been any incidents or how, how has it been for you guys in terms of a safety standpoint? Well, Candice, as we have promised in our planning before, we continue to experience a safe carnival. And this is all attributed to our intense planning strategies and of course the execution of the duty and of course more so the parties the behavioral pattern that we have experienced from our revelers both in carnival and non-carnival activities thus far i am happy to report that the last 72 hours we have seen a nil report of any serious crime or any incident happening on the island, which is as what we are basing our uh, plan, uh, basing our revelations on. Mm -hmm. The trajectory has shown that we have we are working with what we worked with in last October, and that is ensuring that we maintain this carnival as the safest carnival. From all assurances, I can give you that the Juve celebration last went very successful. We have had no reason to um, see that um, any untoward incident in which we weren't able to deal with. Um, just to say that, of course, with our detection, we were able to arrest two persons persons for narco narcotic um, substances and basically someone driving without a driver's permit and having been issued an insurance for such. Um, outside of that, we saw a smooth celebration from Juve into the traditional mass and certainly into what was a bumper um, parade of night mass in the village of Roxborough last night. So we continue this morning with the um, popular um, supported called the Hall Juve celebration. And that is going to take us smoothly down into the preparation for our parade of bands. And as we climax the evening um, today on Tuesday, uh, the police are outside there in our numbers. And we are complemented by the members of the TTDF, of course, um, the reserves, the special reserve police officers, mm -hmm. our fire officers, our licensing officers, all arms of law enforcement are working with the TTPS in ensuring the safety and security of all persons on the island. Great. Uh, and we heard news that the Commissioner of Police, Ms. Ulla here with Christopher, was in Tobago yesterday. Can you tell us about her visit? Of course, as head of head of command, our beloved commissioner made a, a visit yesterday with the goal commander, ECP Thompson, and they paid a visit to Scarborough and had first hand look at the carnival celebration and also took the opportunity to look at the um, natural, the oil spill that came out um, as a result of the um, incident that happened. And of course, Commissioner had the opportunity to have first-hand look also with the goal commander of the carnival celebration in Scarborough and had an opportunity to mingle with some of the masqueraders particularly from Scarborough um, Roman Catholic School participating in their traditional mass yesterday. Um, of course, she was impressed in terms of the participation coming out that the traditional mass still is still alive. And of course, happy to hear that Tobago is maintaining its normal standard of safety and security as it relates to carnival activities. 
Is the police at all lending any help to the cleanup efforts for the oil spill? Of course, um, in terms of our in, um, police youth clubs, we are collaborating with an agency in or with which we work in order to ensure that we can partner with that. And we are in talks um, presently with Tima as to how we can play a part in that role. All right, great. And in terms of just, you know, the regular patrols of the beaches and just all the other activities and tourist hotspots on the island, how are things going on that front? Well, thus far, we have not had any untoward report um, as it relates to the non-carnival um, activities. We have had over 13, um, 13 or so um, groups that are, uh, are, are presently on the island, both local and um, our well, our Trinidad counterparts um, groups that are on the island camping and our community policing officers and our special victim units are paying close attention to these camps, ensuring that the safety and security of all is important and paramount and that we um, for abide by all the restrictions and um, in terms of treating with that thus far, things are going pretty smooth and we are happy um, in that regard. All right. Well, I want to thank you so much, ACB Carlos Hazel, for joining us and giving us that quick update of what, uh, how things are going for the carnival period. And we hope that it remains safe. And certainly, folks, if you see the police out there and whatever instructions they give you, just follow them, you know, respect our officers and so on, because they are only there to help maintain our safety and help ensure that not, nothing major happens within our space. So thank you again, ACP Carlos Hazel. You are most welcome, Candice. And just to remember that there were slight changes as it relates to the route for the carnival celebration today, which starts at 1 o'clock for the parade of bands. So we are asking our drivers to take precautionary measures as we, um, we proceed to the um, Claude Noel Highway. We are asking persons as well, um, the breath officers are outside there so if you are drinking please find a designated driver um, let us try to be safe let us try to live longer um, we have not had any incidents of road um, traffic um, um, incidents and therefore we wanted to maintain that way we are asking persons there's a loss and from boot at the VOC at the old first citizens car park so if you are coming into town and you are participating ensure that you walk along with your children and um that they are you are ta they are tagged if um for some reason for identity we are also asking persons to heed all the traffic restrictions that there is make sure to organize your transport you young people who are involved in those bands, there is still a future for you. Please do not drink anything that you do not um, or consume any any um, alcohol or any beverage which you did not open yourself. It is very important that you remember to take precautionary measures. We are also sending a those persons who are bent on crime while we do have the mud mass ban taking place tonight special emphasis would be placed on this and we are asking persons to please desist from any form of violence that can bring the celebration with any um, that is running very smoothly at this time with any problems so the police and all its national security apparatus will be in force. So please heed our instructions as we seek to ensure that safety and security is a paramount in October in our carnival because it is our intention to ensure that we brand our October carnival the last and safest carnival on Paradise Island. I thank you and do have a happy and safe carnival. 
Thank you so much, ACP Callers Hazel. Well, viewers, we are going to go for a quick break, and we'll be right back with more on the Tobago Updates Morning Show.